So hopefully you've seen my video on linked lists. If you haven't, there'll be a link in the description below, and that shows you how you can build up a list without actually, you, that is dynamic, and it's easy to insert and remove things from that list. Now, today I want to talk about double linked lists or triple linked lists. So if you want to find out more about what these really esoteric types of lists are, please, let me explain. Okay, so just very, very quickly, a linked list, the idea is that for each new element in the list, you allocate a piece of memory, and then you have a pointer from the previous entry in the list that points to that entry, the new entry in the list, and that new entry in the list then points onto the one after that, and they can be all over the place in memory. They're not like an array where it's actually a contiguous block of memory. They're all over the place in memory, and there are links, pointers, inside of a program that point to where the next one is and you can follow the list by going to an element looking at its next pointer going to the next one following that and so on now a double linked list and a triple linked list is something different on a double linked list you have a pointer that goes backwards now the idea here of course is that you can show your list in ascending order or in descending order and you can actually traverse the list in both directions very quickly because each node in the uh, list has got a link forward and a link backwards and I'm going to show you a process in a minute on how you construct double linked lists. And then for a triple linked list, well actually there are very very different ways you could use that third link because you've got two now, third, three now, the original two were next and previous now there's a third one and what I'm going to show you is a thing called a skip list which shows you a quick way of traversing a linked list by using a third link and it was invented by a fellow called William Pugh and actually it is a very quick way, if you've got very long lists, of being able to search that list and find uh, the right element very quickly because it allows you to go quickly down that list and find the right node. And I'll show you that uh, in a moment. But first of all, let's look at how you construct a double linked list. Okay, so here we start with uh, one element in our list, the number four, and you'll notice there's a gray box on the left and the gray box on the right. These are the next and the previous pointers, and you notice they're grayed out, which means it's the end of the list. So of course, in a single element double linked list, there's nowhere to go forward and there's nowhere to go back. Now let's say we want to add in the number 11. We first of all allocate our area of memory. We create our uh, space for number 11. It's got a space for a next pointer and for a previous pointer. And then just like with a linked list, we make the next pointer of four point to 11. So there they go, four is now pointed to 11. And of course, what you now do for a double linked list is the previous slot points back to four. So four points to 11 and 11 points to four. Now let's say we want to add in a third item, this time 21. We allocate the memory and notice that the end of the list is in 11 and the beginning of the list is in four. And so just like with a linked list, we now say that 11 should point to 21 as its next uh, item. And 21 now becomes the end of the list. And then for the previous, it's simply that the 21 points back to the 11. So four points to 11, 11 points to 21, and then going backwards, 21 points to 11, and 11 points to four. The beginning of the list is now four, and the end of the list is now 21. And you can see here, we can do exactly the same thing for 25, inserting it there into our list. Now let's say we want to put in the number 19, which would go in the middle of our list. What do we do? Well, we allocate some memory for 19. It's got a place for a pointer to the next and a place for a pointer to the previous. And what we do is the link that was pointing to 21, we delete that, we save it somewhere, but we remove it out of the next pointer for 11. And actually what we do is we now say 11 next points to 19, which of course is correct. And then we take that pointer that we saved that was pointed to 21 and we make 19's next pointer point to 21. And now for the previous, exactly the same thing. 21 used to point back to 11. Well, actually we just get rid of that, but save it. And now what we say is 19 points back to, uh, 20, to 11 using that saved pointer. And now 21 has to point back to 19. And so now we've inserted 19 into our list. So now four is still the beginning of the list, 25 is still the end of the list, but four points to 11, 11 points to 19, 19 points to 21, 21 points to 25, end of the list, going backwards, 25 points to 21, 21 points to 19, 19 points to 11, and 11 points to four. So here is a very simple linked list. It's a double linked list. 
Okay, very similar to what we've just constructed. Four is the beginning of the list, 25 is the end of the list, and each element has a link to its partner to the next, and its uh, element to the previous. But you'll also notice I've drawn a third box in each one of this, because this is where we're gonna use our triple link, our third link for a skip list. And in a skip list, what happens is you have this third pointer, doesn't point to the next item, it points to another item somewhere further down the list. So in this case, I've chosen 19. So four has a third pointer that points to 19. And in fact, 19 itself has a pointer that points further on to 25. So you can actually see that four points to 19, 19 points to 25, but 11, 15, 21 and 22 don't point to anywhere. That's why they've got that kind of blue uh, color in there. They don't have the third pointer used at all. Now, the advantage of this is that if I follow the list using uh, a linked list, and of course I get 4, 11, 15, 19, 21, 22, 25, but if I follow it using the skip list, I get 4, 19, and 25. It's a much, much shorter list. But what's the point of that? Well, the point of that is this. If I want to find, let's say, the element for 15, what I do is I go to 4, then I go down my skip list to 19, and I know that 19 is greater than 15, so I start going backwards down my list using the previous, and then I get to uh, 15. Now, in a short list, obviously, you could say, yeah, but it still took you know, the same number of steps, that would be true. But if this list had a million numbers in it or something like that, and I was using the uh, link uh, to skip down that list, then I can skip down to approximately the right place in that list much quicker than if I followed every single node down the list. So that's the idea of a uh, skip list. And I've got a program that I'm gonna put in GitHub. There'll be a link in the uh, description below for a double linked list and for a skip list, show you how to do them. Now, one last thing to say about skip list is how do you know which items to include in the skip list? Now, there are different uh, ways you could try to decide whether something is in that fast that express lane or not. And probably the easiest is just you pick a random number. If, if you flip a coin and you say, okay, if it is uh, you know, heads, then I'll, I'll, I'll stick it in the list. If it's not, I won't. And if you want the skip list to be with bigger gaps in it, then you might pick a number, random number between one and five, or between one and 10. And if it happens to be one, then out of 10, then you kind of just put it in the skip list. And that way you're able to create the list, but you can make that skip list as sparse or as dense uh, as you want. So as I said, there are example programs in C uh, in a link below. Okay, that's it. That's my quick look at double linked lists and triple linked lists, particularly at skip lists. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do also subscribe and please, please share this video on social media. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.